So I'm going to go ahead and boot a couple of the nodes here. I'm, I'm going to leave the third node off for right now so that later I can show it joining the cluster after there's already content in the existing cluster. Okay, so we've booted the two nodes and I have brought up a browser to show their web console. The web console is available from any node in the cluster and um, shows the state of not only that node, but then all the other nodes that are, that are participating. So the quick, uh, quick tour here, at the very top is the summary of the cluster. It gives the, um, the available space and how much is being used. And then down on the left side shows the list of nodes that are currently in the cluster and a uh, status summary of them, uh, including the amount of, uh, amount of drive space they have available. Um, <clears throat> moving over to the right-hand side is detailed information about a specific node in the in the cluster. In this case, it's node dot one zero one. Um, quick summary about the state, information uptime, um, the amount of um, number of uh, objects that it can still store on it, space available, and then proceeding down a summary of the disk drive volumes that are in that in that node. Um, let me scroll down just a little bit here. It also shows critical messages. If there are any, they're not at this time. And then announcements. Announcements would be things that are um, that an admin may, may need to know about, like uh, such as formatting a new volume during boot time um, and that the service is started. And we'll see a little bit later where there's some additional information about recovery actions going on that will show up in announcements. You can click on other nodes in the cluster. You'll see clicking on node 102. It updated the, the right side here, and I get information about it. Right now, these nodes have nothing on them. You'll see that there are zero streams reported on their, on their disk drives, as well as up here for the node, there are zero streams reported. So I'm going to, I'm going to start a... Um, I'm going to start some if, some storage going on in the background here. Put some content into the cluster. So I'm starting to write some content into the cluster, and I just have this running in a loop in the loop here so that um, we can begin to get some some data in the cluster. So now let me go ahead and bring the third node which we have sitting offline into the cluster and um, I'm going to power that up and we will watch it join the cluster. Okay so that node is finishing its boot and it will be on the network here shortly and it will join up with the rest of the nodes in this cluster and we should well see it pop onto the status window there. So there, you just saw it show up. It's in a mounting state right now, which means it's mounting its disk drives. Um, the disk drives are, these are actually fresh drives, so it's formatting them for the, for the first time. And um, it will be on the cluster. Take a quick look here. We've got about 5,500 5, streams on each of the volumes in these current nodes. You see that's a pretty good balance across this, this node as well. Uh, what we want to look for is we're going to look for this node to start taking on some of the streams to balance out. It has just joined the cluster. It is now a node that is, um, it is a spot that's available for storage, and it's going to, over time, Caster is going to, going to move storage around. We talked about the valet moving cars around. The, it's going to move content around in order to balance it amongst all the nodes in the in the cluster so it doesn't have this lopsided situation. <clears throat> uh, I am also going to I'm going to write some more some write some more content here. Um, since this node is new and, and fresh, it's going to be a prime target to receive most of the new um, most of the new stream content as well. All the information shown in the web console is derived from SNMP information from 
uh, from the nodes. Every caster node runs an SNMP agent on it so that this data can be collected and monitored through standard enterprise monitoring platforms. Let me choose another node just for a second here. And I want to look at some of the information about status. These, these again, are values that come from SNMP. There are, the, there's, there are many more values in SNMP that are available through just the SNMP agent. But this is a status report of the, of the cluster showing some of the information you've already seen from the, from the main page of the web console. But then you've got additional, um, you've got additional information as well. Um, such as some configuration settings um, and information about the the running of the of the node. So you, it's telling you things such as the software version booted. It's telling you um, telling you how many times the health processing has been been through the disks, looking at looking at the content, as well as some other runtime information. So our new node is starting to take on some some streams from the rest of the rest of the cluster. 